There is a price to pay for everything. There's a price to pay that really, uh, you just think about it for a second, if, if I'm going to work at whatever job I like or dislike, there's a price to pay for that. Everything comes with an opportunity cost. Could I explore other opportunities, uh, entrepreneur avenues? Could I get a higher and better position somewhere else? Do I limit myself or I'm paying the price for not exploring other ideas? Am I paying a price for being in just an average friendship or an average kind of marriage where I'm just okay sort of happy? Am I I'm paying the price for not loving to my fullest ability. Am I, I'm paying the price by cheating myself and the people I'm in relationships with if I am not always willing to give it 100%. Am I paying the price right now by talking with here and with all the people here by not doing something else. There's a cost associated with every single action that we do. I am not burning the calories I want to burn right now because I have my ass planted on this chair. Uh, <laughs> so I'm paying a price. And we're not burning calories today. <laughs> yes, we're not burning calories today. We're, again, we stayed up too late last night. <laughs> I think that is a fascinating topic because most people don't consider every decision that you make, you are, you are choosing to do this thing over that thing. So there's a price to be paid for, for everything, whether it's in dollar terms, time terms, emotional terms, uh, everything comes at a cost. If I'm spending a lot of time with you and then I don't focus on another business relationship or um, family or friends. Uh, I'm paying the price of not developing that relationship in order to have quality time with you. And I like my quality time with you. And I think it goes to the, uh, that goes into uh, moderation. You know, I want to, uh, you can be involved in, me seeing my friends and family, and I can do the same with your friends and family. And if we take anything to a little bit of an extreme, all of a sudden we really start paying a price for every action. Uh, like we were joking earlier about, uh, oh, it's just one meal, you know, I'm not gonna, it's just one donut, it's just one pizza slice in regards to when you want when do we want to go on a diet uh, I'm paying the price uh, I'm paying the price of me being a little more sluggish uh, not happy with myself whenever I'm uh, drying off after a shower looking in the mirror because I made an excuse and then I am willing obviously willing to pay the price for being not optimal. Like I'm okay with that uh, sometimes, which I think is uh, hideous. And I'm paying the price, I'll pay the price for that. <laughs> I'll pay the price uh, whenever I get irritated, which I'm getting better at not being irritated. But uh, all of a sudden uh, it's easy to cut somebody uh, short, it's easy to push them uh, especially in business or uh, contractors, you know, those type things. It's easy, just no excuses. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to pay the price of having to find somebody else to finish your job because I think you're incompetent. Sometimes that's necessary, that's, that's in, but sometimes irritation makes you make rat, rash, uh, harsh judgments, and then of course you pay the price for that. Um, there, there's so many times in our lives that we don't think about what it is to, or what we're losing, that opportunity cost in doing one thing versus another. And 
the older that you get, you realize your time is so limited and it's so short. So what are the best things I can do with my time to optimize my life to the to the best it can possibly be? Like how much time am I wasting? So I'm paying the price for uh, doing mediocre things with my time when if I made the decision to utilize those, those times better, well, the price I'm paying is higher levels of achievement in all aspects of my life. So I'm paying the price. I'm not, I'm not at times optimal where I should be. And so what happens? I, I pay the price for that. I didn't do as well. I didn't have enough energy. That relationship didn't really take root or hold better because uh, I didn't focus on it. So I'm paying the price for that. I, I'm paying the price for uh, not paying attention as much on some of uh, the things I do for a living. So if I'm not focused some on that, well now I'm paying the price for that. Uh, if I don't write you a daily love note, like like there's a few rare occasions I've forgotten. So now I gotta pay the price for that because it makes me feel bad that, oh crap, I didn't get that love note in Jill's lunchbox. And the price is that makes me feel bad. And then I don't like to feel bad. So why would I even make myself pay the price for that whenever I don't like to do it in the first place? Um, what do you think? Well, today I'm paying the price for our past three nights of drinking wine. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely paying the price. I'm exhausted today. Yeah. Uh, that is a good... Even though we had just phenomenal time, lots of late nights, good conversation. That, that's a great point, too, because that, what, what is the price? Like, what are we willing to pay to strengthen all those relationships that have been here this weekend? And, you know, the people come over, we have great food, great wine. We stay up till two, three in the morning just with phenomenal conversations. Well, the price we paid is, well, now we're tired. But that's a price I'm willing to pay. Like, I'm willing to be tired today to be able to have those conversations, those strengthening of bonds, uh, those are very valuable things to me. So I'm willing to pay that price. I'm willing to say, all right, well, I'm a little tired. Now, uh, the excuse is uh, I just had too much wine and I'm paying the price for that. And I should have been a little bit more cognizant of, you know, hell, I had a couple more glasses of wine than I should have. You know, it's kind of hard to do sometimes. So, you know, I'm making another excuse. That's hard to do. The, uh, or when you're sitting there having these great conversations and smoking cigars and uh, things can get carried away. But I am willing and I, I think very fortunate to be able to pay that price of feeling tired and sluggish today because what those relationships uh, bring is fulfillment and uh, and gratitude that all these people want to come over and hang out with me makes me feel kind of good. I'm like, well, that's really cool that all these business guys that I've known for decades, uh, you know, want to come over and hang out. And they're big boys, and so that makes me happy. So I'm willing to pay that price. Uh, like, uh, we got a good friend standing right back over here that... Uh, after I get finished with those guys, I come over and then visit with him. He's here. And am I willing to pay that price to stay up that extra hour to visit with him after I'm already tired? Man, I love paying that price. So we just have to decide what prices are, are we willing to pay. You said something a second ago before the cameras were rolling. What price would people pay like all these dads that can't see their uh, kids? Uh, because, you know, you got to... Uh, a, a divorce situation or you know they a never got married uncoupling. yeah <laughs> conscious uncoupling of a relationship well you, the, there are some women in the world that will not allow their kids to 
see their father just to, out of spite. Like go to any length to keep their kids away from the dad. Right, and not for wants any, to be there. Yeah, not not a, any real justifiable reason other than they just want to be scornful and, and vengeful. So that is, what price are you willing to pay as a as a father? You know, I can't afford it. Uh, I can't afford to go to court. Well, I mean, you don't really need an attorney. You so can the, figure it out. So the price that they would pay is that they miss out on watching that kid grow up. And then that relationship may or may not blossom later in life. Who knows? Well, then you pay the price of uh, of what damage do you do to yourself? Like if you're if you're the father and you're not, uh, you can't afford an attorney. I mean, you Which certainly. Which is so unfair. That's so unfair. Yeah, you certainly can know how to read and know the rules. You can you can go to court without an attorney. Yeah, there are ways to do it. So you can pay the price to learn what to do, figure out what those rules are, file whatever you need to file. There there are there are no excuses in that regard that are valid. What it's just what price are you willing to pay? Like what price? Like some of these uh, business friends of mine, that they've made some great sacrifices in their life to uh, and risk to achieve, and they paid the price of sleepless nights, sweating it out, uh, not knowing if uh, things are going to work out. Time away from their family. Yeah, a lot of time away from their families. Those are prices that they were willing to pay in order to benefit themselves and their family. So you have to figure out where are those balances. Uh, how can I better balance that uh, and pay the price where it's uh, the best you can, beneficial for everybody around you and, and who you love. But uh, hell, I did that too. I'll grow. I mean, from 25 to in my early 40s, geez, man, I didn't care what it took. I paid any price uh, for achievement. Like, I didn't care if it meant I had to stay up late cultivating these relationships, if I had to drive to wherever to see a deal or do deals. Man, it was just, I didn't care. I was going to do it. I wanted that. I wanted to pay that price. And. By paying that price, you know, that ends up creating dividends. But then at the same time, you know, what did I lose? Uh, I don't think I really lost anything. It was just a gain. So if you're going to pay the price for something, try to figure out uh, to make it, make it a gain uh, the best you can. I mean, I probably did sacrifice some relationships, but they were probably needed to be sacrificed anyway. So good. <laughs> I think that is great. Uh, and I just wonder the, the prices that we pay, like the prices we pay for, you know, we're using the proverbial donut, you know, like uh, I'm, I'm going to do that. And the price I'm going to pay is being dissatisfied with myself. It's going to be turning off my lover. The regret. The regret, the uh, God, the self doubt, the self. Uh, chastisement, you know, just so if you're like, uh, look at you, what's wrong with you? Uh, you, know, you want, we want to be loved and wanted. We want to be wanted physically. So if we're doing things that aren't advantageous to that, then, uh, or that promote that, well, we're paying a price. And sometimes we get addicted to paying negative prices. Like we, we feel like people get comfortable being in negative circumstances and they're paying the price of not having positive outcomes in their life because we are paying the price to stay in negative situations. Which I think is, having kids, you pay a price when you decide to have a child because you lose sleep, they're crazy expensive, you have to miss out on their activities um, because you have to work to support them. So there's there's price to pay just having a child. There's a price to pay for every relationship. Like every single relationship comes with a price. Time, energy, effort. And if you're not willing to put in 
time and energy and effort into a relationship and you're not willing to pay that price, then that relationship, that friendship, uh, that marriage, it will suffer. And then that's the price you pay. Yes. That is a fact. Well, I'm not paying that price because you're smoking hot and I love you. <laughs> well, I love you too. <laughs> uh, I think that is, it goes to the whole point that I, that in our podcast, the, the whole stream of these hundreds of uh, podcasts is that we should be aware. Like the underlying theme is be cognizant. Like, okay, I, I'm, I'm paying the price for something that I don't want. So if I, I, I want to pay the price of something that I do want. <laughs> I, I want to have... I want to have the life that I want, so I need to figure out what is that cost and and how do I pay for it. That is the that's the whole theme of life, I I do suppose. And wow, we have a lot of really cool interviews coming up. Like we have two next week. That uh, whenever y'all are breezing through the the old YouTube and Odyssey and all that, uh, wow, fantastic guests uh, coming up. So I hope that y'all. Uh, We'll find some value in those because, geez, what extraordinarily people and extraordinary lives. So I'm really anxious about that. Uh, they're almost as interesting as Jill, <laughs> but not quite. <laughs> so thank you all for joining us. If you're in the local area, come out and see us every Sunday at 1.30. And uh, go to our website, visit us, hang out, mysticsoftexas.com. See you next time.